Hey everyone, I'm Julia from Crocoblock and welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial, we will take a closer look at dynamic tags. I'll show you how to display dynamic content with its help and which features the dynamic settings section can offer. Before we begin, please make sure you are subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So, if you use Elementor often, you probably have already noticed that lots of widgets have this little dynamic tags button. In short, dynamic tags helps to pull any content dynamically from another source. It can be either the info about the post's author, site name, and post excerpt, or data from the custom meta fields. This option becomes available if you have one of Jet plugins that provides dynamic content, like Jet Engine or Jet Reviews. For convenience, I will divide all tags into five groups: image, post fields, counters profile URL and actions, and macros. And we will go over each one of them in detail, step by step. The list of available dynamic tags can differ depending on what plugins and modules are enabled. If you have only Jet Engine installed, you'll see the following options. But if you install Jet Reviews and Jet Booking plugins as well, a couple more options will be added. Moreover, to fully experience the functionality of dynamic tags, I suggest you go to Jet Engine Dashboard, Modules, and depending on your needs, enable the following ones. Profile Builder, Maps Listings, Data Stores, Custom Content Types, and REST API Listings. Now, let's start with the first group of dynamic tags, Image. I'm gonna open one of my pre-designed listings, but you're free to open any post, page, or template. Dynamic tag will work in the same way everywhere. So you can apply a simple image widget, or it can also be an image set as a section background. Please keep in mind that icons are not images. I will work with this section and go to Style tab, Background. Instead of choosing an image, I will click on Dynamic Tags button. These are the available types of tags. Once you click on any of them, a drop-down menu will appear, Settings, where you can select the source, and set Fallback. Fallback is an option to set default content that can be used if the element has no content or simply does not exist. Custom Image displays the image from default WordPress posts, then the meta fields added to the custom post type, and profile pictures. Term image pulls the picture from the meta field you created for the custom taxonomy. So at first you need to select the taxonomy, for example, property type, and then insert the meta field name. Next one, image from options. The image from the meta field which you have chosen to use like an options page. User image displays the photo from the meta field added to the user profile. Here you will find context option that allows to limit the post where the data will be pulled from. And custom content type image displays the image from the meta field you created for the custom content type. Let's use for example custom image and in the field I will select post thumbnail. As I'm working with the listing item right now, applying dynamic tags will allow the images to be displayed correspondingly to the properties anywhere this listing is used. So, as you can see, Jet Engine and dynamic tags can make your life easy because you don't have to select an image manually every time. The next group is Post Fields. This type of dynamic tags is available everywhere on the widgets that work with the text. For this group, I will apply a heading, and on the screen you can see the list of supported meta fields. So, custom field displays the text from custom post type, user settings, and default user fields. Unlike the image, this group of tags and the following ones will have two tabs in the drop down menu settings and advanced to set before, after, and fallback text. Term field displays the text from the meta field you created for the custom taxonomy. So, under the settings, you'll find taxonomy with all the taxonomies, including Jet Engine taxonomy and all available categories. In the field, you'll be able to select the field type. Next one Option. It pulls the content created in the Options page. User field displays the user's data. 
This list can vary depending on your settings. Context option is also available here, allowing to limit the posts. And lastly, we have custom content type and REST API fields that require custom content type and API modules to be enabled in the Jet Engine dashboard. Also, REST API is needed to be set up first, so we can use this option in dynamic tags. By the way, there is also a get child from object array switcher to pull a certain child item. I will select, for example, term field, taxonomy property type, and set term name to display the type of the properties listed on my website. This little label will help the users navigate among the properties easily. Besides, you can also apply term field tag to the link. I will set taxonomy to property type again and this time select term URL in the field. On the front end, the label will have a link that redirects the user to the category archive page that contains posts from only a certain type of property. If you want to use this option, keep in mind that you need category archive template to be set up like we did in this video. The next group of dynamic tags is counters. They display the number of posts and set the dynamic calculations to your listings to showcase the average, minimum, maximum, summed, and count field values. By default, we have only dynamic function, but once you enable data stores module, two more options will appear – data stores, post count, and data stores, store count. Let's start with dynamic function. Once you click on this tag, you'll be able to select function, then data source, for example, post meta, and set field name, data context, query the post with status and types, and also set custom decimals point, thousands separator, and decimals count. The last three options are available everywhere except for the count function. In case if you missed it, there is a separate video on how to use dynamic function available on our channel. Now let's proceed to the next tag, data stores, post count. It displays how many times the post has been added to different users' stores. In the settings, you can select the store you want the data to be pulled from, for example, favorites store, and set a specific post ID if needed. Similar to the post count, data stores store count shows the number of posts but for the current user. Don't forget to select the store in the settings when using this type of tag. And by the way, we have a really helpful step-by-step -step tutorial on data store module where you can find how to set a store and use dynamic tags. So if you haven't used data store before or you need more information, you can check the links in the description box below. Fourth group of dynamic tags, profile, URL, and actions. This type of tags is available only on URL controls. In the profile page, you can select the page link, then context allows narrowing the parameters to queried user, current post author, and current custom content type item author. Add query arguments option lets you add a custom link. Besides, to use this tag, you need the data to be set up in the Profile Builder. I will not stop on this for too long since we have a whole tutorial dedicated to Profile Builder along with a detailed troubleshooting guide that might come in handy. Let's move on to the last tag in this group. Once you activate the Map Listings module, you'll get a new option in the list. Open Map Listing on pop-up. In the Settings tab, you can insert an ID of a specific post and select whether it's gonna open on click or on hover. And the last group here – Macros and Queries. Before we start looking through the tags options, let me quickly open a listing grid on my homepage. The reason for that is that Macros works with listing grid or dynamic link widgets, so keep it in mind. This tag is a real lifesaver, as it does all the work for you. You don't have to insert the macros manually, it will be done automatically in a couple of clicks with the help of a macros tag. Let's edit, for example, this grid and go to Post Query. This is exactly where this type of tags can be found. 
I already set some query parameters and if you click on include posts by IDs, you'll find macros and the list of available ones. Last but not least, data stores get store tag. Available on the widgets displaying the posts that can be queried. For example, smart post tiles and smart post list widgets from JetBlock plugin or listing grid. This tag pulls the post from the certain data store. For example, you have a recently viewed or some new items section. Some of the posts the user already added to the favorites. You can apply data stores, get store and simply exclude those posts. This option can be helpful as you avoid overloading the section with the posts already added to the favorites. So, we are done with 5 groups of tags available with the Jet Engine plugin. And as a bonus, if you want to fully experience the functionality of dynamic tags, Crocoblock has a couple more options – Jet Reviews and Jet Booking tags. Of course, both plugins require to be installed and set up. Let's apply star rating widget and take a look at the first group of tags. In the rating, I will click on dynamic tags. For this type of content, there is only one tag available – average rating. In the settings tab, you can choose percent or ratio and also set a number of ratio bond and decimals count. A bit below you'll find title. Let's click on Dynamic Tags button and you'll see that we have a second tag – Reviews Info that shows additional information about reviews. There are only two options in the settings – Reviews Count that displays the reviews number only and Reviews Count Label – the same thing but with the labels as well. And the last one for today – Jet Booking tag. Here is a cool option where it can be used. Let's add a heading and apply Jet Booking Price Per Day Night tag. In the Settings tab, you can select Show Price, Default, Minimum or Maximum Price, and Prices Range. Also, if Change Dynamically toggle is turned on, the price shown here will dynamically change after the user chooses dates. The price will be shown according to the rates you set. Besides, you can set a currency sign and currency sign position. And that was it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and it was useful for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below or contact our support team. Also, don't forget to check the links to the tutorials I mentioned in this video. Give us a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.